This story is all about Holly. Holly's my daughter. Holly's one of three children. Her older sister is Megan and her younger brother is George. Her dad's a firefighter and a builder in the local village and her mum, me, was a TA in the local primary school. We had quite a normal life, living on a farm in Cornwall. She, Holly was really good at swimming. She loved her horses. She loved her animals. She played the trombone in the local St Kevin band and she was a singer in the choir at her local school. On the 12th of April, 2021, all of that changed. Holly had fallen from her horse and received a severe traumatic brain injury. She had the co-responders from Mullion, paramedics, and later on the air ambulance, which flew her from home to Trelisk and later on to Bristol Children's Hospital. Overnight, she had extensive surgery on her head to relieve the pressure in her skull. Holly spent 11 weeks in ICU. While she was there, she had her right side of her skull flap removed and replaced. She had a, a VP shunt for hydrocephalus, a lumbar drain, a drain in her head and a tracheostomy, as well as lots of intensive rehab and recovery. Holly's dad and I had to learn new skills like how to deal with a tracheostomy so that we could take Holly on outings People weren't allowed in to visit still because of COVID, but it was Holly's birthday whilst we were up there, so we were keen to be able to take her out. Ah, oh, there you go. Where's it going? Okay, hang on. Hi, Dad. And then down to the next question. How are you? Holly's head injury was so severe, she's had to relearn how to do everything from scratch. Mm. Mm. Your tummy above. Mm. We spent, in total, 410 days in Bristol Children's Hospital, where Holly received intensive neuro-rehabilitation. Since being home, Holly's met John T. Evans, an Irish event rider who also suffered a severe traumatic brain injury. He's a real inspiration into continuing to recover. She is getting stronger. Her speech is improving. She's typing to help her communication to be more consistent. And we still have regular and fairly intensive therapies at home with her physios and her speech and language therapists which are also aided by college Truro College where they are doing an awful lot of the activities set by her therapists. So Holly what have we cooked today? We've cooked that jack. Brilliant. Holly goes to Truro College five days a week. We picked Truro because that was the college she wanted to go to before the accident. At college, she does things like cooking and craftism, as well as English, maths and science. They also do some of her physiotherapy and speech and language exercises. We encourage Holly to be as active as possible. With brain injuries, it's important to inspire to help recovery. Holly, you'll go again. You'll find a yellow or a two. You're on fire holes. Activities for Holly's these days include days on the beach with her beach wheelchair, going out into the barn to spend some time with the horses, walking in her newly acquired frame runner, and sailing with the Children's Sailing Trust. We're really lucky to have that on our doorstep. We are so lucky to have such support from friends and family. Recently, Holly attended her aunt's Hindu, which was great fun. They all included her in everything from the crown making activity with flowers to learning a Romanian dance. Sarah's fiance is Romanian, so we will be performing this dance at the wedding.
Thankfully, a lot of Holly's needs are no longer medical, but she still has massive requirement for equipment. This picture is all the luggage she needed for a two-night stay. It is difficult to plan a day out. We need to phone and double-check and double-check again to make sure everywhere we go is accessible and has suitable facilities for Holly's needs. We need things like changing places, bathrooms, wide doors, level access where possible. My worst phrase is it's just a small step. I always wanted to be an army medic and then a paramedic to help people. Sadly, that's a career that won't happen now, but she can still help people in a different way. We use her social media page, Come On Holly Pop, and Accessible Lizard Facebook page to help draw awareness to promote the importance of accessibility and inclusion everywhere. We're always asked, what can we do to help? Well, the simple thing is to contact local businesses to see how they can improve things to make them accessible to everybody. We've managed to get ramps into our local shops. My sister's got a beach wheelchair into her local beach and we are talking closely with the National Trust and Natural England about improving facilities in our local area. My hope is by encouraging businesses to make affordable small changes like the addition of a ramp, grab rails, hearing induction loops and so on, that we should be encouraging biz bigger changes in the future, such as level access changing places, bathrooms and wider doorways. Ironically, this would mean making a difference one small step at a time. Holly's recovery is slow but steady. I hope one day she'll be able to tell you in her own words what her needs and wants are. But for now, we will just have to shout for her. Thank you for listening.